So our challenge, I think, is to take social value beyond measurement to management, to think about how we manage social value. To move social value to a verb, to do social value, we should be thinking about how we create. Yes, to move social value to being an adjective as a driver of business transformation. Okay, so we do have uh, in a number of countries and also in some uh, regions or cities, um, mandatory social procurement. So this is where we have a law um, which tells public bodies that they must um, uh, take social value into account in some way when they're awarding public contracts. And as, as was mentioned already in the UK, that has uh, recently been upgraded to an obligation to actually evaluate um, social value within tenders. And um, so just a selection of the laws here, I won't go into detail on them, but just to give you an idea of where we do have uh, mandatory um, social procurement um, set, set down in law. Most importantly, are we engaging with stakeholders? We're really, really bad at this in general, yeah? Really, really bad at going to the people who actually understand the issue, who are living with poverty or or. Um, disability or, or whatever their quality of life challenge is. They need to be in the room when we're making decisions about how we act. And they need to tell us whether they're experiencing outcomes. A spreadsheet can't. We need to think about how we're measuring those outcomes. Are we gathering a good mix of quantitative and qualitative data? Do we have enough precision for the decision? It's one of our mantras at Social Value UK. You don't need all the data in the world. You could get you could get lost again down data rabbit holes. Have you got enough information from the people most impacted to make the best decision you can make today? So we, we know the daily struggles when it comes to uh, delivering social value. And um, one thing what has kind of struck us is that uh, many companies don't have any idea how much money and time they internally and externally actually invest in, in social value. Uh, that then brings challenges in managing kind of the profitability of the contract work with, with the government bodies. I wish we still now brought up the like a four pillars that kind of, uh, you know, kind of then uh, create this social value delivery scene for the companies. It is almost the whole existence of the company, isn't it? And it should be. It should be a strategic decision uh, what kind of activities the company is taking through employment and training, uh, whether it's uh, sustainable practices, supply chain decisions, or how to engage with communities. And as Nicola said, uh, this is quite complex matter, and therefore it's quite impossible that the company could manage everything through one platform or then through one department, because these social, this kind of a social value and social mission within a company, it, it really is inherent in the operations, and there will be lots of departments and people and, and, and partners involved. Therefore, uh, in order to make this somehow understandable and controllable, you know, that there should be a strategic decision made that what is the what kind of challenges and contributions and what kind of value the company is dedicated to deliver through each pillar. Uh, strategic decisions should be very much connected to company values to start with. Although these frameworks that we were just talking about, especially from governments, uh, you know, government given, they might direct the source of value to certain path because of, of the tender criteria, but there is always room for companies to plan and delivery, uh, deliver respecting their own company mission, their culture, kind of what is their source of value strategy. So this then these uh, challenges and of course opportunities as well, they lead to the importance of finding really suitable partners to deliver social value with. The companies rarely do that just on their own.